what I'm looking for is like uncluttering flawed premises. Mm -hmm. So there's really nothing wrong with a negative emotion. Mm, that's a guidance okay. thing. So there's really nothing wrong with a negative emotion. However, yes. a lot of people bash themselves over the head every time they feel a negative emotion. <laughs> so while they're doing this imagination and creating and being blissful, the state of consciousness then moves because reality hits and now all of a sudden is feeling that that's not possible yeah. or, you know, a limiting a belief. So a negative emotion hits. I've never heard you speak about um, the moment the negative emotion hits, what would you recommend in that moment? I've identified a negative emotion. And now I kind of like go with it. Like I kind of, a lot of people like you know, lean towards it and then snapping out of it. Sometimes I can't snap out of it. I take a nap. You know, Abraham says take a nap or, <laughs> you know, something like that. So what would you in that moment you felt negative emotions yeah yes yes okay yes. so <laughs> i always love it when people say that too like all right so in that particular moment i've realized it what is it like is there like a practical moment that you could like give some kind of speak speak <laughs> yeah speak so. <laughs> speak do it now <laughs> um yes well First of all, you observe it, but you already did that, otherwise you wouldn't have noticed it, right? So you notice it, and you notice that it doesn't feel good. And the first thing you say to that is, wonderful. That means that my guidance system is operational. It means that I'm being shown how to live in a more holistic, amazing, aligned reality. So your only understanding of a negative emotion is that it's a positive event to see the negative emotion, right? And you see it, which means you're not it. It means you've already ascended into a higher level of consciousness, otherwise you would not be able to see the negative emotion. You would simply be it. You'd be lost in it. You wouldn't be able to notice, oh, hey, I have a negative feeling, come up. So since you're as calm and collected when a negative emotion comes up, as you all are, unswayed by the appearances in consciousness, um, you understand that if you feel bad, it shows you that right the second before that, a belief was activated either by your environment or by your thinking process. And that, that fundamental belief or point of view is simply no longer working for you. That's all it is. So, so basically, every time I feel a negative emotion, I'm about to discover a flawed premise. Is that the... And to take it one step further, you're about to enter into a more heavenly reality. So who would not want to see a negative feeling? That's why people, that's how people often uh, sell themselves short in a sense by okay so they're accelerating and they're feeling good and then negative emotion arises and what do they do they don't understand that they can reply to that in whatever way they desire so they think oh wait a second a negative emotion comes up so that defines who i am i'm still a sucker i'm still bad i'm still flawed i'm still wrong i still don't get how this works no you perfectly get how it works that's why it comes up does that make sense if you didn't get how it works, you're like many other people are, which is in a constant state of semi-depression, but it's so constant. You know, like people that either drink a lot of alcohol or do whatever substance you use a lot, at some point you become very tolerant to it. And I'm not saying this in any way negatively, but just as an analogy for the emotional state of many human beings. Whatever you do all the time, at some point it's just like you're numb to it. So you're numb to even your depression. You're depressed even towards your depression. You don't even care about your depression anymore. You don't even notice the ways you're just like, yeah, that's life. That's bricks and cement and I hit my head every once in a while and I uh, never get around it and that's life. So, um, it's a good thing when negative emotion spikes up, it's a good thing. The contrast is a good thing because it shows you that you are very active on a level of consciousness. You're very conscious. You're very progressive in your evolution right so it's a good sign always as soon as a negative emotion hits like let your first response be oh jolly fun something along those lines does that make sense so be really happy to see a negative feeling sure it can feel a little bad but that's okay you've had it before it's not that big of a deal and now at least you know that it's arising because you're increasing your frequency you're expanding therefore your contraction is shown if you're growing and you're becoming more and more muscular like i am then you, <laughs> you, at some point, at some point, you, <laughs> you burst out of your skin, right? 
<laughs> Your jacket no longer fits. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to. No, I'm not, I'm not sorry. Um, your your jacket no longer fits uh, when you or you grow too fat or whatever. But when you expand too much, at some point you hit that barrier, that vibrational barrier. And what is that? It's literally you meeting, you rubbing up against the very edge of your present paradigm. So your energy starts to expand even beyond your paradigm bubble, but you can't fully stretch further unless you look at the things you're holding on to that are part of the old paradigm. Now, there's many things in the old paradigm that you don't need to look at. They won't come up for you as you expand into your joy. This is where shadow work goes wrong. It focuses on all the nitty gritty little details, nine out of 10, which you never have to look at. Unnecessary waste of consciousness. Stop it. Unless it feels good. But it doesn't. I've never met a happy shadow worker. Ever. <laughs> so. Uh, so, um, so yeah, when, <laughs> when you, when you expand beyond your skin, your skin will start to feel tight. If you don't expand, your skin won't feel tight. It will just be there. You won't notice it, right? You won't notice your jacket being tight if you don't expand. So similarly, you won't notice what you still hold on to from your old vibratory paradigm if you don't expand beyond that. So what does it mean when you do start to feel contracted and tied? It means you're actually expanding. You're looking at it the wrong way if you judge it negatively. If you feel bad about yourself, what you're saying is, oh, I am contracting. The opposite is happening. The, con the, the, the paradigm is still the same size, but you are expanding. That's why you feel the contraction. So as soon as you feel the contraction, deal with it in a positive way. Does that make sense? Approach it instantaneously from a confident place of knowing that you are progressing, you are expanding. And when you do it in that way, you will continue the expansion and you will burst out of your skin. You will show yourself what fits in, what does not fit in, what you want to let go of and what you want to bring along in a different fashion. Does that make sense?